severe watches as far as thunderstorms or tornadoes, but we have still continued to see a history of severe thunderstorm warnings in some areas that were hit fairly hard yesterday. That's around LaGrange right now. We had one about 45 minutes ago around Macon, Georgia, an active severe thunderstorm warning, but as they get a little bit closer into our area, they seem to lose a little bit of steam, but that doesn't mean they're not packing a pretty good punch right now. We go from Jefferson to Washington County between Sandersville, Davisboro, and Louisville, and right around Highway 1 there. It's not severe, but you're probably uh, hearing that thunder clap pretty hard and also watching the skies light up with lightning here. So just on that west to east track right now, moving across McDuffie, Columbia County, all the way back into Atlanta this morning. So that path of travel on 20 east and westbound is going to be a bit of an issue. Here are the only active current watches we have, and that's for flood advisories right now. Coming across Wilkes, Tolliver, Hancock County, all the way to Johnson County until 6 p.m. tonight. So traveling westbound into Atlanta, you're running all the way into it. The severe weather outlook for today is shifted a little bit farther south, and that's where we're mostly finding more of those severe storms this morning that are still active from LaGrange also to about Macon, Georgia here. So we're going to focus mostly on our southern counties for any potential strong to severe storms. Although there's still a marginal level one out of two and level two out of five here for that slight risk here. That's what we're looking at mainly in our area. So there could be a little bit of some small hail and also strong winds, but certainly heavy rains. Any real heavy rains are going to pose nothing but a flood risk because of the enormous amounts we've seen over the past 24 hours now. But this boundary will finally break up. We've had this stalled out frontal boundary hugging the south for most of the weekend. Front, the cold front will finally start moving through, and you notice the decrease in the rain amounts that we're going to see the farther we get through today. Tuesday's a lot quieter. Now we're still looking at more rain coming in, but that's going to have more of a focus in the southern half of Georgia along I-16 to 95 into the low country of South Carolina through tomorrow. Not to say that we couldn't see an isolated shower tomorrow, but certainly more of that emphasis is what's coming through this morning. So from now till about midday, we have temps that are going to be anywhere between the 60s and 70s periodically on and off all day. But once we start moving past 3, 4 o'clock, we can see that it starts quieting down. So the afternoon commute, less of the rain and thunderstorms, and maybe even some little clearing, maybe a peak of sun at the end of the day. 50s tomorrow morning, we're looking at that rainfall that's going to be tracking across the southern half of the viewing area. Still potentially maybe around midday to 2 o'clock, we might have a few showers here locally in the metro of Augusta. But once Wednesday rolls around, we're cooling down too. We're going to be watching those high temperatures drop only into the middle 60s by the middle of the week there on Wednesday. So a wet commute this morning. The rain's back on the lens here just outside of our studio's I-20 Riverwatch Parkway. Still some scattered storms that are going to be working through the next several hours. Winds have picked up 14 out of the southwest as those steady temperatures in the mid-60s. 60s hold tight there, but notice the unsettled boundary. We're going to have all day long periods of uh, rain, showers, thunderstorms, 60s and 70s here. A little bit late afternoon drier commute for us all once we get into four and five o'clock. The week ahead will start to look a little bit nicer to us too. The chance of rain tomorrow, 72, and then cooling the mid 60s, only to warm back up in the 80s as we go into Thursday and Friday. 618.